Here is every reason why Solana is going to absolutely dominate 2024 and what you need to look out if you're wanting to invest in Solana this year. Now, Solana already having a dominant start of the year, sitting around that $90 to $100 level and really beating a lot of people's expectations for the chain. 2022, 2021, even early 2023 were very tough years for Solana holders and a lot of people lost conviction in the chain. But the back half of 2023 has really changed this narrative. And I want to talk about a few things I'm watching as to why I think it can be absolutely dominant this year in 2024 and next year in 2025. And $100 is not going to be the top for this sole token. The first reason why Solana is poised to absolutely dominate 2024 is the amount of amazing partnerships it has. No chain does partnerships better than Solana. And it's not just about having a lot of partnerships, but the quality of their partnerships and who they're partnered with that really makes this thing go off the rail. Solana has partnered with some big companies, MasterCard, Visa, Shopify, and is even considered to be the home chain of Circle's USDC. Now, this is just to name a few of the partnerships that they have, but they have even more ranging into Google's big data cloud and other applications like Amazon's AWS. So for Visa and MasterCard, these credit card companies, for MasterCard specifically, Solana is being used to help do Web 2 to Web 3 transactions. For Visa, Solana is helping to test USDC pilot programs and helping to test transactions in the same way as MasterCard. So both of these big credit card companies are recognizing not only that crypto is or blockchain technology is a way that you can do transactions better, more efficient, and cheaper for both parties, but they're viewing Solana as a way to make these happen. Now, Shopify is another interesting niche. It's not necessarily credit card and consumer transactions, but it's more e-commerce transactions, and a big company like Shopify recognizes that Solana is not only fast enough, but also secure enough and energy efficient enough to be scalable for consumers and businesses to make transactions with. It's hard to even really fathom that you can do something like buy t-shirts or you know, buy coffee or whatever kind of Shopify stuff like Kylie Jenner's Shopify store for Kylie Cosmetic can, you know, use Solana if they want as a payment method, right? It's very, very hard to comprehend this. It doesn't even feel like it's real still, but big companies are partnering with Solana for its payment processing potential. And Noticing its speed, its energy efficientness, the way that it's going to save them money, and the way that that funds can probably also be, you know, saved for the consumer as well. So big companies are recognizing Solana's potential, and it's also, you know, kind of recognizing the potential of this blockchain technology in what seems like payment processing. That's this big area that Solana partnerships seem to be focusing on payment processing, which is at the core layer of what the L1's trying to do. The second major reason why I absolutely think Solana is going to dominate 2024 and 2025 is that its transaction speed is so high. And this is, you know, tagging along with its proof of history consensus mechanism. So one, I think proof of history is a really neat, interesting concept. It's really kind of weird to think that nobody thought about doing that before. Um, but the transaction speed, just the speed that something like Solana's network can go is very, very enticing. This is probably why they've been able to secure so many big partnerships and are being seen as a primary like payment processing blockchain. But Solana currently does, you know, one to 3,000 transactions per second currently on a daily basis, right? Just on its normal, um, given its proof of history and its block structure. But it is currently touted to do something like 65,000 TPS, which is just absolutely mind boggling. I mean, a lot of blockchains tout higher numbers and do lower numbers because the, the, the higher number, like the 65,000 number is like there are only coin swap, right? Um, but a lot of other stuff happens on every blockchain. But even if, you know, they're only doing one to three TPS per day, that is still a crazy amount of speed compared to other chains. I, and I, I do recognize that Solana is very, very good at this. Now, with the proof of history mechanism that helps fuel this speed, that is a very interesting concept as well. It really gets me excited to know that there are other ways of doing blockchain. You know, we hear proof of work, proof of stake, proof of less work, now proof of history. Seems like there's a lot of proofs of different things and it's just like kind of this big weird joke right now. But proof of history is really interesting because essentially what it is doing is time stamping every block that comes through these computers, these nodes processing the Solana blockchain. And it allows for Solana to just fire blocks off left and right and then order them into a time consensus line later on down the chain, right? Or later on in the processing time. So your transactions and your blocks can be running through, but they're not necessarily ordered. Like if you were to mail a bunch of letters, they're not all gonna show up at the same time or like your Amazon packages don't all show up at the same time, but you can look at the order date and the time date and see like which one did you order first and chronologicalize them 
after the fact. So this is kind of what Proof of History is doing and that's how Solana can be so fast. So this is a really interesting piece of technology that is getting them partnerships because of this speed. The third reason why I think Solana is going to absolutely dominate 2024 is that institutional investors are taking note of the Sol token and the Solana blockchain as a good investment. There's a blockchain metric company called CoinShares. They do an institutional investor report. And this month when they released it, they noted that you know institutional investors are selling out of their Bitcoin and Ethereum positions. And the Solana institutional investor metric has actually grown substantially in proportion to those Bitcoin and Ethereum alternative. So institutional investors are taking note of Solana as a worthy long-term investment or at least a worthy investment right now. Many people are saying that this is potentially what has been leading to such a strong Solana price action over the past couple of months. And you know, it would totally make sense. Institutional investors have a lot more capital, a lot more power, a lot more things. It's definitely something to watch out for. What they're doing can definitely shift markets. Not only is the institutional investor awareness up for Solana, but the Solana Grayscale Trust is also up which drives my speculation of, it, are we gonna have a G Bitcoin scenario where this thing goes up until like the Bitcoin ETF? Is Solana gonna have its ETF moment? Is the you know G Solana Trust or whatever the, the Grayscale Solana Trust is called, is it going to go up until a Solana ETF comes out? Is something like a Solana ETF even possible or even needed, right? Maybe it'll go up and sell the news on the Ethereum ETF, something like that. So these are all things that I'm watching as to why Solana has the big, big potential to not only grow in 2024, but grow and dominate through 2024 and 2025. If you watch my other videos in the past, you know that I usually mention something about Solana decentralization and all these other things. And I do think that is true. I do think something like Solana is trading decentralization for centralized speed. Now with centralized speed, uh, it reminds you of things like Apple and Microsoft, right? And, and Google and you know all these big tech competitors. Apple for the longest time doesn't want people tampering with their devices. They don't let people make decisions on how it goes, right? I can see Solana following in the footsteps of a, a giant, you know, the Magnificent Seven corporations. And while decentralization is the, you know, the primary reason why I'm in crypto because of the, the core Bitcoin narratives and the, the Cardano narratives and the Ergo narratives and the Ergo manifesto, those are what I'm in crypto for. I do recognize that centralized speed and the power to make big companies more money and the power to push companies and technologies forward to be more efficient and to be faster and to do more is something worth investing in. Um, I do think those will help propel Solana to a massive 2024. And I do think people with money, like big corporations, will see benefit in that centralized speed. Now, I know Solana is getting more decentralized and that's not the topic of this video, but if you wanna see a Solana decentralized, centralized comparison video, we can be sure to have that out. Other than that, I really hope you enjoyed this video on why Solana is going to dominate and we'll see you in the next one.